We are doing a Did You Know on the Architect of Rock and Roll, Little Richard. Did you know Little Richie was raised in a church? His parents was very heavily involved in the church. So all the hollering and pounding on the piano came from somewhere. Did you know Little Richard's first instrument was the saxophone? He joined his school band in the fifth grade and he loved it since. Did you know Little Richard's father kicked him out when he was 14 years old because he was gay? I wouldn't obey my father. I didn't obey my father. I didn't do what he wanted me to do, and so he told me I had to get out. Mm -hmm. He said, Richard, you, I want, I was gay, and, and he says that I wanted seven boys, and you are messing it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my brother's name was Charles, so I would go out in the yard and call him. I had a high voice. I would say, Charles! He said, I'm gonna kill you tonight. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna kill you, because I, I was really flamboyant, so my, my people didn't like it. So did you know Little Richard performed in drag? His drag name was Princess Lavigne, and he was out here serving it, honey. He was traveling while doing his gigs. While traveling, he bumped into an artist named Billy. He asked for his help to become a professional singer, and he helped him. He was soon signed to a label called RCA Victor, and he came out with his hit, every hour. Did you know it was said that Little Richard stole Escarita style? But most people say he was his influence. Soon after, Little Richard was signed to a record label called Specialty Record. And this is when he came out with the song Tutti Frutti. And that song sold over 2 million copies. And then he came out with the other hit called Sally. So yeah, he was on the map after this. Did you know Little Richard hired Jimi Hendrix to join his band? He was a casual member of Little Richard's band for backup between 1964 and 65. Did you know in 1976 he had to be tired? He was more so trying to put his life back together because around this time his brother had passed and he was on drugs really, really bad. So he was fighting between fame and faith. Being around was people that was perverted. Goodness. And and people that most entertainers are perverted one way or another. Mm -hmm. Most of them are. And, and most of the, a lot of the managers are. And a lot of the record producers are. And so what they do, they tie hand in hand. So you go into the studio, you get, they give you cocaine, you get high, and then you, you, do, you, you do your act. You never ACD. found satisfaction. It wasn't no satisfaction. I was sick. I, I, I had to stay high all the Did you know in 1986, he had a role in a movie called Down and Out Beverly Hills? Did you know in the year 2000, he had a biopic of himself? Little Richard wanted Prince to play him, but Leon ended up playing him. They made of you, which incidentally I absolutely loved. Mm -hmm. I thought they directed it well, yes. they acted it well. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. Yes. What does that make you feel like as you look back? Well, it made me feel good. You know, at first I didn't want Leon to do it mm -hmm. because Why? Prince had called me, and, and he was he and Gene Simmons from Kiss. Yeah. Uh, they had put up thirty million dollars if he was going to do it, but they waited so long to get back in touch with my attorney. And, and, and um, I just felt that a lot of my friends was dying, you know, leaving, you know. Yeah. And I said, well, maybe I should, I need to see it now, you know. Yeah. And, 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 uh... Did you know Little Richard helped the Beatles and the Rolling Stones in their career? He literally paved the way in music. Did you know Michael Jackson purchased all of Little Richard's publishing and gave it right back to him? I swear this man is an angel sent. Little Richard was literally ahead of his time. He was paving the way for the gays, for the outcasters, and he made it a trend. Alive when you first began uh, recording. Yes, but I have woken up now. Everybody that wasn't alive when I started and was gone, I have brought the spirit and put it on them. <laughs> they have resurrected. They are here now. And we'll be out there on Saturday night to hear me at Wembley Stadium when I'm going to let it all hang out. Could I say something? Go ahead. Let it all hang out. 
with the beautiful little Richard from down in Macon, Georgia. I am the king of rock and roll. Ow, ow, ow. My, 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 my. I just had to do that. Now I feel so much better. I got it out. Well, and let's not forget, he was doing all this in the 50s. And this was around a time when everything was conservative and nobody put up with that mess. And they will kill you for that. So he literally put his life on the line just to be himself. You got to give him his flowers for that. Of course, I did something very brave because I'm such a fan. You were the first performer, I think, ever to come out and say, I am a homosexual. Yes, and everybody got mad with me for saying that. You know, I, I, I didn't mind telling the world that I was gay. I was gay. And uh, uh, it's nice to be happy. It, it sure is. I was happy, and I wanted the world to know that I was happy. And I wasn't ashamed. I had been that way all my life, and I didn't know nothing else but that. And so I told everybody that I am gay. I am the originator. I, I think I was the first one of them, too. Yeah. To this day, a lot of artists are living off of his legacy. When Little Richard got older, he started reaching back out to God and was preaching and traveling and saying the word. So known as rock and roll legend Little Richard says choosing between his fame and his faith was one of the best decisions he's ever made. I didn't feel right anymore. I was saying and do things, but you know, I wasn't a part of the in crowd anymore. And he said he started getting concerned about his place in the world. I started thinking, I started just thinking about Jesus. I started thinking about the world is going to end soon. All the trouble of the world. It's a change 3ABN President Danny Shelton says is amazing. I had the privilege of meeting numerous people, but those, the testimonies are almost always the same. I made up my mind that I'd rather have Jesus Okay. than anything the world could afford today. Shelton says though Little Richard stepped off the rock and roll stage, his impact is still felt around the world. He, he influenced millions in his younger days. Now he influences millions for the cause of God. Okay. Once uniting people around his music, he's now uniting people around his story. In Thompsonville, Colin Dorsey, News 3. In 1986, he was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 1993, he won a Grammy for Lifetime Achievement Award. In 1994, he won a Rhythm and Blues Foundation Pioneer Award for Lifetime. And in 2002, he won a NAACP Image Award Hall of Fame.